Hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tribal Electric Tuesdays, where we dive into the technique of separating botanical particles using static electricity. If you're curious about this topic, keep watching. Today we'll be explaining the physics of how electrostatic separation works on a glove, parchment, or metal blade. If you're unfamiliar with the Tribal Electric series, I suggest you look back at previous episodes. To isolate heads from contaminants, friction is used to triboelectrically charge particles to later separate based on the particle's electrical charge. From grade school, you know that opposites attract. In electrostatics, particles with similar charges repel each other. What you may not know is that neutral particles attract both negative or positive particles. Let's exploit this basic principle of physics to make clean hash. Step one is to charge a particle. Friction between two objects transfers electrons from one object to another, the strength of which has to do with their charge density in the triboelectric series. One way to do this is by rubbing heads on a nylon screen or other surface. Nylon has a charge density of about negative 66. Electrons from the screen transfer to the heads and negatively charge the heads. The more you rub, the more heads charge. Step two is to attract heads to an oppositely charged surface, or as explained before, a neutral surface. Nitrile or steel with a small positive charge work well. Negative heads are attracted to a positive or neutral surface. The human body acts as a ground between the nitrile glove or metal and effectively renders these surfaces as neutral, thus attracting heads. Step three is to collect and isolate heads. This process is simple yet effective and does not damage heads or modify their chemistry. You may be wondering why heads charge, yet contaminants and stocks do not. In fact, they do charge, but they actually lose electrons, thus charge positively. They transfer their electrons to the mesh or to the heads. Since opposites attract, contaminants are attracted to the negatively charged mesh. If you're really paying attention, you would ask why positive contaminants are not attracted to the glove or steel, yet negative heads are. There's a twofold answer to this. First. Heads are repelled by the light charged mesh, which is negative, like the heads. At the same time heads are repelled, positive contaminants are attracted since opposites attract. This is why on parchment, heads collect on the trailing edge of the roll, while contaminants collect on the leading edge, since these surfaces are neutral. A positive surface would in fact better repel contaminants while strongly attracting heads. The reason behind this series is to crowdsource ideas in an effort to make a better machine. It empowers us all with the knowledge that perhaps may inspire innovation. I've already received lots of ideas uh, that I had not contemplated. Perhaps it sparks creativity in others as well. If you have ideas, I encourage you to share publicly in the comments section or privately. Lastly, my goal is to provide enough information for the DIY watchers to make their own version of the device. For those that want a turnkey solution, please email us to be notified when a commercial version is released. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. If you found this video entertaining and you learned something today, please consider supporting us by clicking this button here. Much appreciated.